And now to that potential freight rail strike. It could happen as soon as December 5th. As ABC's Ika Jochi explains, this could have a major impact on the U.S. economy. One of the nation's largest rail unions voting down a tentative contract brokered by the White House. Now, a looming nationwide strike on December 5th that could cripple the U.S. economy. As the president has said from the beginning, a shutdown is unacceptable. Uh, because of the, of the harm it would inflict on jobs, families, farms, uh, businesses. The White House now preparing for the possibility of picket lines. Rail is critical to multiple facets of the economy. Agriculture, manufacturing, retail, and warehousing. Freight railroads are responsible for transporting 40% of the nation's long-haul cargo. Transportation would also be affected. Roughly half of all commuter rail systems rely at least in part on tracks owned by freight railroads, including nearly all of Amtrak's long-distance service. Altogether, a strike would cost the economy two billion dollars a day in economic losses according to the association of american railroads the biggest issue uh, are the uh, quality of life issues a lot of the cutbacks that have taken place over the last four to five years uh, by the railroads have cut us to the bone workers say they need better paid leave and attendance policies before they can reach an agreement although eight of the rail unions agreed to new contracts if just one of those who didn't decides to strike then they'll all join the picket line i hope that uh, we can bring this to res resolution without any impact. But uh, like I said, this is uh, an option under the Railway Labor Act. A nationwide strike is expected next month unless a contract is ratified by each of the 11 rail unions. So far, four unions have ratified the agreement. Ike Ajachi, ABC News, Washington. Over three dozen more asylum seekers are now in Philadelphia. It is the second bus of migrants to arrive in Pennsylvania this past week. A bus from Texas arrived in Philadelphia yesterday with 46 people on board, most of the passengers, young men from Latin America. Volunteers helping support these migrants say most of these folks have plans to go on to New Jersey or New York to join family and friends already here. Texas Governor Greg Abbott has been sending busloads of migrants to Democratic-run cities across the country. And since April, Texas has sent hundreds of migrants to various other cities, including New York and Washington, D.C. Alex Jones is still banned from the Twitterverse. On Friday, new Twitter owner Elon Musk said the conspiracy theorist would not be allowed back on the social media platform. Some Twitter users are asking for Jones to be reinstated, but on Sunday, Musk expanded his stance, tweeting that his firstborn child died in his arms from sudden infant death syndrome. And he said he has, quote, no mercy for anyone who would use the death of children for gain, politics, or fame. End quote. Earlier this year, Jones was ordered to pay hundreds of millions of dollars in damages linked to his lies about the 2012 Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting rampage. Dr. Anthony Fauci, the nation's top infectious disease expert, scheduled to brief reporters from the White House today, and it will likely be his final briefing before he leaves the government at the end of the year. Fauci was expected to press the idea that Americans should get up to date on their COVID and flu shots ahead of winter. As director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, Fauci has been a near constant presence at the White House briefings throughout the two years of the COVID pandemic. Fauci is scheduled to retire next month after more than five decades. Health officials say there is a severe shortage of products, including Tamiflu and certain antibiotics, which are used to treat things like the flu, sore throats and ear infections. According to the American Society of Health System Pharmacists, it is not a manufacturing problem. Demand is higher than usual this time of year. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says more than half of the country has either high or very high classifications for respiratory virus activity. HDL, or good cholesterol, may not help determine heart health as well as previously thought. During the 1970s, a study showed high levels of HDL cholesterol concentration was linked to a lower risk of heart disease. That finding was generally accepted and considered in assessments for the past few decades. However, the study was only based on white Americans. According to a new study, low levels of HDL cholesterol are associated with increased heart disease risks for white people, but that does not apply to black people. Also, increased levels of HDL cholesterol doesn't appear to lessen health threats or for either white or black people. Researchers say more studies need to be performed to help determine the differences in HDL and potential heart issues. 
It is the leading cause of cancer deaths. Lung cancer kills more than people in the U.S. than colon, breast, and prostate cancers combined. That's according to the American Cancer Society. But a new report is offering some hope when it comes to survival rates. CNN's Mandy Gaither has more on that data and why health experts say more work still needs to be done. In the fight against lung cancer, health experts call new data on survival rates remarkable progress. It's a terrible disease, and honestly, in the past, we've had trouble moving the needle with regards to survival improvements. But the latest report from the American Lung Association shows the five-year lung cancer survival rate has continued to increase from 21% in 2014 to 25% in 2018. However, a person's odds of surviving five years after diagnosis is only about 20% in communities of color. Now, I diagnose lung cancer on a daily basis, and we're just not catching it early enough. The odds of surviving cancer increase significantly when it's diagnosed diagnosed early, but the report says about 44% of cases of lung cancer aren't caught until a late stage when the survival rate is only 7%. Last year, lung cancer screening recommendations were expanded to include anyone ages 50 to 80 who have smoked a pack a day for 20 years or two packs a day for a decade. But in 2021, the report shows only about 5.8% of eligible people in the U.S. were screened. The challenge is getting the word out there, making people understand the risks of lung cancer, providing them with options in terms of how to get diagnosed with lung cancer, and then really explaining the importance of getting treated. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. Back outside with live cam, kind of cloudy, kind of gloomy, but things are going to be changing as the week moves on, just in time for the weekend. Mm -hmm. And you know, it uh, finally feels like fall a little bit around here. Uh, maybe even some uh, feeling somewhat like winter, but I want to show you a picture that, that demonstrates fall beautifully. Look at that. Uh, that is up near Garner State Park, near the Frio River. You can see the colors starting to show. I hear Las Maples has been fantastic this year. Uh, yeah, that is beautiful. And these cooler temperatures certainly making it feel like fall out there. As we look at the live radar, we do still have some showers working their way through the area. Some showers around Gonzales and Luling, but they're really starting to move away. And then here around San Antonio, if we're seeing anything, it is very, very light. Mostly it's just cloudy skies. Although I did get one report just recently of maybe a peak of sun trying to trying to work its way through. Don't know that we'll see a whole lot of that today. It is cloudy at the airport. 51 degrees east northeasterly winds at about three. Dew point is at 48. Here's a look at our rain chances as we go forward. There is chance today, although that's starting to dwindle. 20% chance tomorrow. Best chance looks to be Thursday into Friday. Right now, Thursday during the day, some chances of showers, maybe a storm, and then some lingering chances on Friday, especially Friday morning before everything clears out over the weekend. We're going to take another close look at that weekend forecast. Still getting some of those new model runs in, and we'll give you the latest here in just a few minutes, guys. A Spanish chef that's made it mission to feed those in need is getting recognized for his work. How the Ukrainian government is showing its appreciation. And Thanksgiving dinners aren't even cooked yet, but the sounds of Christmas already creeping in. A look at some of the new holiday music being released, including a jazz legend's first official Christmas album. A Spanish chef getting a special honor from the president of Ukraine. Jose Andres was awarded the Ukrainian Order of Merit from President Zelensky. Andres is the founder of World Central Kitchen. That's a nonprofit organization that provides meals to people after natural disasters. And recently it has been helping feed people in Ukraine amid the ongoing war in that country. On Twitter, World Central Kitchen says it's been able to serve nearly 180 million meals since February all with the help of thousands of Ukrainians. Don't forget about our KSAT Community Share the Shoes campaign. You can donate a new pair of shoes or socks to a child in need. Just take your donation to any of the San Antonio Police substations. They're listed right here now through December 16th. Something to look forward to this Christmas season, new Christmas music. It's out.
from artists like Alicia Keys and Lindsey Sterling. I need some new ones. I stick to the very old ones. Nice to have a variety. Yeah. Ira. CNN's Rick Damagella has a preview, plus a taste of Louis Armstrong's first official Christmas album. Nicholas. Lindsay Sterling's latest release, Snow Waltz, finds the dancer violinist mixing her renditions of Christmas classics with original songs and features duets with Bonnie McKee and David Archuleta. I feel like this album is actually a little bit more me than my last Christmas album. I just really leaned into that kind of whimsical, um, energetic style that I love so much and brought it into Christmas. Oh, Rick. Problem. Have you ever done that? You hit him from yourself? Yeah. yeah, I've done that. Lindsay Sterling's Christmas concert tour is underway right now. She has a show tonight at the Tobin Center, and it is sold out. All right. Not surprised. It's a good day to listen to some Christmas music. I started that a while ago, but now the temperatures are Already you're up listening to me. Christmas music? Oh, yeah. You know, this is actually kind of late for me. I realize we say really? this every year, but I feel like Christmas comes earlier and earlier. I've seen so many people with their Christmas trees up already. Yeah. Like it's just, I think we're all just ready to get right on into the Christmas bear. Yep, that's me. Yep. Uh, let's turn the music up. 51 <laughs> degrees so far today. 47 was the low this morning. Averages are 70 and 48, so we're going to be a below average again today. The record high is 86 set back in 1970. Nowhere near that. But we are going to warm up some. We do have some more rain in the forecast. That's seven days coming up. Did you, did you just say you already put up your tree too? Oh, yes. Yes, I did that over the weekend. What's June like in your house? It's hot. It's nothing like now. It's, like, it's feeling like wow. it's supposed to. For the yeah. holidays. Man. David, you're late. You need to get to work. I know. Man. What have you been doing? Apparently so. Come on. I mean, you got a list of things to do, my friend, this weekend. <laughs> and it's getting longer every day. And you know what? This weekend, though, speaking of, it's going to be perfect. So perfect for get David to putting up the lights. David's honey-do list is... Nobody rough. call him. He's going to be busy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, let's look at the cloud cover right now. We've got a cloudy day. Uh, it's going to stay cloudy. I, I know we've been waiting for that sun to come out. There could be a peak of sun in spots, but I don't look for much. And it's uh, just going to be gray for, for most of us. Uh, there's a look at the temperatures, 48 Rock Springs, 53 Honda, 51 in San Antonio. So you will notice it's warmer than yesterday. We've gained a few degrees here, 51 in Braunfels, 49 in Gonzales, and around San Antonio, mainly low 50s right now. With cloud cover, we'll probably only make it up into the mid 50s for highs today. Shower wise, there's, there's not a lot there. We do see a couple sprinkles over downtown. Another one there on the southeast side. A few very light returns around Seguin and then a little batch of rain just northeast of Gonzales. But that really is starting to move away. It's through Gonzales at this point. Uh, as we look outside on live cam, temperatures 51 at the airport, 52 Stinson and 50 over at uh, Randolph with uh, light northeasterly winds. Your KSAT 12 hour forecast. Just some very small rain chances throughout the rest of the afternoon. Generally uh, just a cloudy day. Temperatures mid 50s as we said and then tonight they hold pretty steady we're not going to see a big cool down tonight because we still have the clouds in place so low 50s maybe upper 40s in a few spots let me show you the water vapor and this gives us an idea of what's what's going on moisture wise we do see that we had some deep moisture of us yesterday it's kind of getting pushed east so that's why rain chances come down a little bit today and tomorrow for that matter then as we go into the pacific northwest we've got a little bit of a swirl in the atmosphere right here and that is our next storm system that is going to be moving on board and then diving south. There's been a lot of disagreement amongst the computer models as to how this will evolve, but I think we've got a little better idea now. And what I've done is I've put a new computer model in here. So this is uh, not the same one I showed you last half hour. This has a little higher resolution. And so you can see as it comes across the Rockies producing snow there, but 
Uh, we're still within the clouds tomorrow, even tomorrow afternoon. This is around 6 p.m., maybe a, a couple of showers on your Wednesday. Now, as the storm system starts to come in, we're going to see a little bit more activity on Thursday. So scattered showers, and I do think we could see a thunderstorm or two. So that'll be something to watch out for. You saw there it kind of raced by a little faster than I'd hoped for, but uh, you see some showers and storms throughout the day Thursday. There could be some rumbles of thunder, especially I-35 and points east. So about a 40% chance of rain and then maybe some clearing out west. Probably not here in San Antonio. Then as we get into Friday morning, we've got more showers moving in as this system pulls uh, into Texas. And I think probably it's just going to be Friday morning. By Friday afternoon, we'll see a lot of this shift out and then eventually we get clearing. And as I said, the weekend looks great. Uh, but we will need to watch for some rumbles of thunder and that potential for a couple of thunderstorms. And here's how I think the rain chances play out. So just a small chance today, and that number is actually going down. 20% chance tomorrow, Thursday, 40% chance. And then Friday, right now we're calling for a 30% chance early in the day with some clearing by the afternoon. And again, Friday afternoon, we should see the sun pop back out, and then it will also be a little bit windy. This weekend, no rain. And the extended forecast looks like this. Uh, 54 the high today, 59 tomorrow, 68 on Thursday, 59 Friday. So we get a front coming through along with that storm system. It will be cooler Friday and windy. Clearing out Saturday, 67, windy and sunny. Sunday is probably the best looking day on this entire forecast. Sunny skies, 72 after a morning low of 44, and then we're in the 70s next week. So Sunday is your day, David. Mm -hmm. Get the ladder out, get yep. all the supplies out, get Start it together. Checking things off that list. I did wait too late because I'm going to be sweating putting up Christmas decorations. Oh, 72, that's perfect. That's all right, better than 50. <laughs> Thank you, Justin. Yeah. A well-known director is putting his own life in front and center on a new film. How his memories growing up inspired his latest project. Steven Spielberg has made what he's calling his most personal film ever. He says it's inspired by his own childhood. CNN's David Daniel has a look at The Fablemans. What kind of movie are we going to make? Newcomer Gabriel LaBelle is a young filmmaker with a complicated family life in Steven Spielberg's The Fablemans. In this family, it's the scientists versus the artists. Sammy's on my team, takes after me. Michelle Williams and Paul Dano play his parents, and Seth Rogen, a family friend. It's like, you know those like, magical domestic scenes that are in Steven Spielberg movies that feel so real, and like they're capturing like the essence of this like nostalgic part of your life. It's that for the entire movie, basically. What she got in her heart is what you got. You can't just love something, you also have to take care of it. It's more important than your hobby. Can you stop calling it a hobby? We had Steven uh, completely open, raw, naked, and vulnerable about his entire life with us. We had each other. And they had LaBelle centering the film as the young Spielberg stand-in. What a way to start, right? To be 20 years old, maybe 19 when we made yeah, yeah, this. Yeah. 19 years old when we made this, and you walk onto a, set, a Steven Spielberg set playing him. It was quite an experience for the young actor and potential future filmmaker. He's an incredible example, and it, it, it was just very validating. Like, oh, yeah, totally. But I've definitely wanted to do it for a while, but it only makes me want to do it more. You stop making movies, it'll break your mother's heart. I don't know what to do anymore. You do what your heart says you have to. In Hollywood, I'm David Daniel. Right, so Steven Spielberg making a film about Steven Spielberg starting to make films. I think it'll be good. I think so. Yeah. Different kind of eye that he'll have for. Speaking, for um, speaking of good, is this the time well, when we get to take a bite of this? Are, are you guys going to taste this is that? A, this is a 35 pound cookie, my okay. Mr. Hage. Take it a bite. Is see, see what it massive. is. It's massive. Okay. You, you have got the, the cookies cookie there and the tailor made. Wow. See what they're like. Where are these and from? This is from, these are from the cookie jar bar. And look Ooh, at this. This is gosh, the yin so and gooey. yang. And oh yeah, gooey, gooey, good there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at how delicious these are. We're going to tell you all about They deliver too, believe yeah, it or not. Yeah, you're going to have to start talking because 
Warm okay. <laughs> and the thing is, you need something to wash this down. A nice glass of milk or something How warm. A hot toddy. A uh, hot toddy. Okay. Yeah. Deanna Fisher from Fisher and Weezer is here. And uh, what's in the hot toddy? We've got the Hill Country Peach Hot Toddy, which has our mm. peach ginger cocktail mix and some gin from Dietz Distillery. And then we have a yummy pomegranate martini Ooh, that with sounds. pomegranate cocktail mix and some gin and some pomegranate seeds. And she's got some great sides. Try one of these cookies oh, great. too. Yes, cheers to that. Mm. And Jen has something really special with the nutcracker. That's right, you have your holiday cocktails there, Mike. Well, this is a holiday experience for everyone. It's the immersive Nutcracker, a winter miracle. This is one of many scenes that you can take in with friends and family. We're gonna give you a sneak peek. Back to you, Mike. That looks absolutely fascinating. And don't forget, hey, somebody's gonna win $500 today each and every day. We're gonna tell you all about that. Plus, with Thanksgiving coming up, we wanna know, what are you thankful for? We're going to be asking you that question, and we're going to tell you about something really special coming up here at Market Square this weekend. That and a whole lot more coming up on SA Live. Stick around. All right, temperatures are still in the low 50s right now. The chances of rain really starting to dwindle today. We'll see a small chance tomorrow, but rain chances pick back up on Thanksgiving Day. A chance for some showers, maybe some storms that holds over into Friday morning before we finally get some clearing late on Friday and especially into the weekend. A lot more sun and warmer temperatures by Saturday and Sunday. Well, if you ever wondered how good these cookies were, just look what's left. We've already eaten, what, half of it? We need some friends, though, because Lunch. my goodness. These cookies so, are huge right. and delicious. Well, let's not waste any more time talking. Let's start <laughs> eating. SA Live starts right now. Yeah, they are really good. Today on SA Live, get immersed in the story of the Nutcracker. We take you inside a one-of-a-kind Christmas experience. Plus, you'll want to enjoy these giant warm cookies just like those who are by the fire this season. We're going to make a seasonal cookie with the Cookie Jar Bar. And it's a special event right here in Market Square, reliving the history of the Chili Queen stands and the strolling troubadours. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Ooh, we have got lots of yummy things. Look at these beautiful side dishes. Can you believe that Thanksgiving is only two days away? Yes, indeed. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Oster. Hage here on the set by myself for the time being, but Jen is out at a really, really cool nutcracker. Hey, Jen. Hey, Mike. Yes, you said, what, two days, right? We're yeah. counting down. I see the grocery stores are really packed. And our social question today, you tell us what it is, Mike. Well, what are you thankful for? I mean, you know, there is so much to be thankful for. There's been a lot going on these days. So what are you thankful for, Jen? Family, for sure. And this is why I love Thanksgiving, by the way, because it's not about the gifts. It's about cooking, bringing everybody together, and just being thankful. You know, what about you, Mike? Same thing. You know, my, my boys are going to be coming in from school. The four of us are going to be together, you know, sitting around the table, which always the, the great warm family feelings uh, shared with, with a meal like that around the table. So let us know. What are you all thankful yes. for? And I, I bet a lot of the, uh, the same answer is going to be popping up with family. So we're going to check that out in a second. That's, that's pretty cool down there, right, Jen? Mm -hmm. It's so cool, yes. We're, we're gonna give you a sneak peek here in a minute. And, and also for our viewers, send some photos. We wanna see photos of what you're thankful for too. But yes, Mike, I'll touch base with you here in a minute. Okay, and make sure you uh, tag us at uh, KSAT and SA Live, and we hope to show some of your answers a little bit later on in the show. Okay, our first guest today is helping us create those last minute side dishes that we can share around the table with our family. Joining us now is Deanna Fisher, Chief Experience Officer at Fisher and Weezer, our dear friend. So good to see you. So good to see you, and I'm so happy to be here and happy share some fun things with you today. Okay, so some great side dishes, and that's, I mean, a lot of times that really makes the meal on side dishes. It does make the meal, and sometimes though, you just need something you can make in a hurry, and that's what we focused on today. We've got some great side dishes with quick ingredients and everything that you see here is on sale at HEB right now. Wow. So it's not only going to save you time, it's going to save you money. So you, how much are these on sale? $2 off. 
That's fantastic. So get on down to HEB and go to the Cooking Connection and get you some Fisher and Weezer sauces. Because I know a lot of people have been talking about how the Thanksgiving grocery bill is just, yes. you know, sky high and the receipt is very long. So that's a great deal getting two bucks off. So it is a great deal. So we're going to start with our Cran Raz stuffing. Mm -hmm. And we just have here, we've fixed up some Stouffer's stuffing mix and just cooked it, you know, like just you're supposed to. Old stuff. Okay. Simple, simple, really quick. You take some of that Cran Raz sauce and mix it in with this chicken. This is kind of a modified meat stuffing. So it's really great for leftovers. Mm -hmm. You just mix that up and let it marinate a little bit. And with the dried cranberries yes, in there Yes, go ahead and throw those in for okay. a little garnish. And then we will just, once that's mixed, we'll put it in here with the stuffing and stir it up. That's a great way because, I mean, everybody loves, I, I know it's not, you know, anything fancy, but it's good old fashioned, you know, stove top tough, stuffing like that. But to spice it up like that and to add the cranberries in there, really, I mean, and that's going to be perfect for leftovers as well. It is. And so we have some right here finished mm -hmm. if you'd like to taste. Yes, indeed. And that's it. That's all you have to do and you're ready. And you know that stove top takes no, no time. So. Yeah. And the nice thing is too, it's a great flavor of the stove top. Excuse me for talking my mouthful, but also that little bit of a hmm from the cran raz. That's right. That's right. And then the chicken gives it a little hearty flavor. Okay. So what now next? we have our peach bourbon sweet potatoes. Some people call them yams. I call them sweet potatoes. We just got the best thing in the world is that are those canned sweet potatoes. You just go ahead and strain those, put them in a dish. Mm -hmm. You're going to pour about half a cup of the peach bourbon sauce on. Okay. Ooh, you might Ooh. have to shake it up a little. That's nice. It's just like ketchup. Okay, nice and thick. Here, I'll tell you what, I'll use the back of this fork right Perfect. here. Perfect. Okay. And you just put about half a cup on there. Then you're gonna, we're gonna mix that up, pour our pecans and our cranberries on top. There okay. you go, it's coming. Let me taste this, here. Yeah. There you go. Oh wow, oh wow. Yeah, that's our oh, charred peach bourbon sauce. You just mix it up and then you're gonna put it under the broiler for five to 15 minutes. You're just gonna let it caramelize a little bit. That's and it. we can put that on it okay. and, and let all of that work together in the broiler and you have got it made. Those are your two easy and quick and delicious side meals. So you've got your sweet potato casserole right there. That's right. And that's as simple as it was? Yeah, and you can mash the sweet potatoes, but mm -hmm. I think they look nice kind of for something different to leave them in chunks. And, and, and you get the good texture because you'll have the mashed potatoes on the side. Right. There. And then, okay, this would taste great on an English muffin. Yes, it or, would. Or just to lick it off the back of a fork that you put in the jar with. Any so. way you like it. <laughs> okay. And I brought some wine for you. And Fish and Weezer wine. Yes, this is our Culinary Adventure wine collection. Two of our new varieties that we have. They're all Texas wines. Mm -hmm. We've got a Chardonnay and a Merlot. And you know, you want to have both on the table for Thanksgiving because you never know who wants which. Because a lot of pe people think that with poultry you need just white wine, but being such a hearty meal, the red wine tastes good. You're a white wine drinker yourself. I and, am, yes. Okay. And so, yeah, we like to have both there. Mm. And these you can find at Das Peach House in Fredericksburg. We welcome you to come out this weekend. We will be open Friday and Saturday and Sunday, and you can pick up some wine and just have a nice time. And again, those are the only places where it's available, out at your place. Out, out at our place or so. jelly.com. If you live in Texas, we can get it to you. So. Okay. And heading out there, because of course, fall is a beautiful time. Just head out I-10 right to Fredericksburg. So much to do. And at your place, you said just go there. To you can, you can go and have a glass of wine. You can go to Dietz Distillery right next door and have a drink, a cocktail, and buy some gin or some peach brandy. We have a cooking school there, so you can take a cooking class. Today, we have a class about making pies. Everybody's going to go Ooh. home with a pie for their Thanksgiving. Ooh. So we do all kinds of fun stuff there. And these great recipes, which, I mean, these were so simple and taste so good. And that's the trick to it, right? That is. That that's what we like to do at Fisher and Weezer. Make it easy, just a twist of the wrist, and you're a chef in your own kitchen. And other than the wines, all of the, the sauces and everything can be found at grocery stores, right? Yeah, at HEB Cooking Connection. That's where this brand is. It's exclusive for the Cooking Connection, a collaboration that we have with them. Yeah. So $2 off. Thank you so very much. Thank have you for having happy me. Happy Thanksgiving and Merry Christmas. You too. Enjoy. All right. More information on Fisher & Weezer. Of course, head over to SALive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. We have provided a link. Or just scan that QR code right there at the bottom of your screen. Okay. Well, from Thanksgiving sides to something for the whole family to celebrate the holiday fun, a whole new take on the Christmas story. Jen Tobias Strusky is out there. And this is really, really cool looking, Jen. Describe what's going on.
It is quite the experience to come bring friends or family. It's the immersive Nutcracker, a winter miracle. I have Ruben Vasquez joining me now to talk all about it. Ruben, thank you for having me out here. Yes, I'm glad to have you out here. This is my first time, by the way, to come and experience this. What can people experience for the first time? They've never been here and they come and see the immersive Nutcracker. Sure, so what Lighthouse Immersive has brought to San Antonio is a whole new way to make holiday memories. Mm -hmm. um, what we have is the classic story of the Nutcracker in combination with its uh, musical score, the ballet aspects of it, and then we have these beautiful 3D animations wrapped in a 360 um, package that lets you see it in all areas around you. It's yes. super crazy, super cool, super beautiful, and what you do have is a uh, winter wonderment at every oh, corner. I love that winter wonderment. Yeah, <laughs> I walked in and I said, "Can I just dance?" And and you said, "Yes." People yeah, do that. People dance. You can people, take it in how you want, right? Yeah, absolutely. We've seen people dance in here. We've seen people lay down together. We've seen people. Uh, I, I mean, they do it all. <laughs> I, I, I've seen people cry. Aww. I've seen people cry because they think it's so yes. beautiful. Yes. Yes, and there's benches here, but like you said, you can lay down, you can take it in. There is no judgment on how you're going to take this in, right? No judgment. <laughs> now, this is the same location where you had the Van Gogh immersive experience as well, correct? That is correct. So we opened that uh, immersive experience in um, late May of this year. Uh, we've had numerous shows. We're still having shows now. They're mm -hmm. going through the end of the year, so we invite you to come see that as well. Um, but with the uh, Nutcracker, it's a whole new thing, right? Yes. So now you're getting that winter uh, magic that's all around you. Mm -hmm. uh, it's definitely going to be something fun for all the kids, all the grandparents, and everyone in between. Mm -hmm. All the family can come out here and have a good time with yes, us. Yes, for all ages. Now, what do people need to know? I know you said it's good to get here early. Always good to be mm -hmm. early, right? That's mm -hmm. just in general. <laughs> <laughs> yes, rule of thumb. Always good to be early. Um, but I always recommend about 20 minutes early just mm -hmm. to be safe. That way you can come in not have to feel rushed. You can find a nice spot for yourself in the show. Mm -hmm. You can take a look around our retail shop that has yes. tons of great uh, sales right now and continues to have great sales. We have a good one coming up. So, hint, hint, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we invite everyone to come in a little early and, and just kind of take your time, get in here, bring the whole family in. Enjoy. And the location, can you sure. let people know where it's yeah. at? Yeah, <laughs> we're at 221 uh, Burleson. Um, mm -hmm. It's just on the, the east side of downtown, just on the outside the highway system. Uh, mm -hmm. We're north of the Alamo Dome. So pretty Got close it. to all the all that is San Antonio. It's yes. all right there in one package. The heart of the city, a great location. And you have some classes coming up as well. I know you're yeah. excited yeah. about this. Yeah. You we're, said your son might even do the class, yes, right? My, yes, I have a six-year-old. I'm going to definitely bring him down for <laughs> dance classes. We've uh, uh, basically, we have dance classes, um, particularly on Saturdays, um, mm -hmm. and we've associated with the, forgive me if I say it wrong, it's the uh, uh, Children's Ballet of San Antonio, uh -huh, uh -huh. right? Yeah, there's a lot of them. Yeah, there's, 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 <laughs> the, it's the uh -huh. whole acronym yes. I always remember, but yes. we're going to have them out here. They're going to be uh, performing their dance classes here. Uh, it's going to be fun for all ages again, mm -hmm. so we'll have um, the whole gallery ready for so you. So in here, they'll yeah, be dancing. Yeah, they'll be right in wow, here. Wow, taking yeah. in the experience at the same time. Yes, ma'am. And then yoga as well. So if you want to do the we yoga do with the Van Gogh experience. With the Van Gogh. So mm -hmm. um, those, uh, take a look at our website. You'll mm -hmm. be able to um, see times and dates and everything. Um, we do have some special dates coming up because of the holidays and, and we kind of move things around for that. Perfect. Now for families, they can get a special deal. We want to make sure we mention yeah, that before we, we go. we have a discount for families. Um, take a look at the website. Uh -huh. I always want to direct people yes, there. Yes. Um, but, but take a look for that and you'll find our, our discounts there as well. Awesome, Ruben. Thank you so much. Yes. I may go dance a little bit here, I'll, Mike. I'll, join you. <laughs> I'll toss it back to you. See, I love that. They are my people here because they know I love to just dance and take all this in. But really, a beautiful experience. What do you think, Mike? That's gorgeous. I, I was trying to listen to your interview and then pay attention to what's going on behind you. That is so cool looking. <laughs> and you know, I love the Nutcracker too. I know you do as well. I know you. I know you love it, Mike. You need to come here. You need to bring the family. Yes, it's a beautiful experience, and it goes on until the end of the year, of course. Oh, that's very neat. Thank you very much, Jen. And, of course, if you'd like more information on the Immersive Nutcracker, head on over to our website, salive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just scan that QR code right there at the bottom of your screen. And don't forget about the uh, discount they were all talking about. So, all right, when SA Live continues, a little extra cash for the Christmas holiday season, how to win $500 and a chance at the grand prize of $10,000. And then take those winnings and have yourself a merry little Christmas because we have gift ideas you're gonna want to hear about. We share some Black Friday deals that are stretching your dollars to new lengths. That's coming up on SA Live.